Hello everybody, tis I the Rumple One. Movies I watched. Here we go. Who gets the house? Liking someone really boils down to simply making a choice. Oh, I guess this is one of those, I guess maybe you could call it a feel-good movie. You know, happy ending and all of that. But it was kind of funny. I mean, the kids were, were pretty ingenious. And on the back, they even have a parent's guide for family discussion. So, um, it's basically about this couple that separated, but the kids wanted mom and dad to stay together. So, pretty good movie. Then, who the blank is Jackson Pollock? I don't even really know why I picked this movie up, but it's, it's, it's actually a, uh, true story. This lady buys a painting for five dollars at a thrift store and it turns out that it could be an original authentic Jackson Pollock painting that could be actually worth 50 million. It's an entertaining story. Why did I get married? A Tyler Perry movie. Well, if you know anything about Tyler Perry, you know his movies are, uh, well, how should I put it? Okay. I mean, they're not bad, but they're not great. I mean, I wouldn't rush out to see it. I mean, it's got some funny, funny dialogue, but that's about it. And then, finally, ten questions for the Dalai Lama. Do you know who the Dalai Lama is? Do you know anything about him? What he's all about? How he became the Dalai Lama? Well, this movie will answer those. But, uh, this guy got a um, meeting with the Dalai Lama, and he was given 45 minutes to ask his ten questions. Learned a lot. The thing is, this didn't learn about Dalai Lama, but when you look at the world, the history, and, and you look at other places in the world, what's going on, and you compare and contrast it with what's going on here in America, there ain't much difference. I mean, over there, you know, China has basically crushed Tibet just because they could. And you know how they censor the news, but don't think that doesn't happen here in the U.S. It's funny how we like to point the fingers at other countries, but we should be pointing the finger. So when you point the finger, one goes out and three are back. Well, yeah. Anyway, I would recommend you watch the movie uh, Ten Questions for the Dalai Lama. He's a pretty funny guy. I don't think he takes himself too seriously, which is a good thing. And, you know, he got the Nobel Peace Prize. And the funny thing is, is those Peace Prizes come with money, and he got this big check. He, he basically gave it all away, which is pretty cool. But one of the things that I realized was, because I've studied... Eastern religion, philosophy, Zen, Confucius, Buddha. And one of the things that most people make the mistake of is that the expert from afar has something more to offer than somebody who's near. I mean, if somebody takes a, gets on a plane and travels hundreds of thousands of miles, for some strange reason in our mind, we, we place some importance on that. Whether the person, you know, two doors down, if they told us the same thing, you know, we might just brush it aside. And that's something that you have to learn to check yourself on. Because when I can think back growing up, I mean, learned some really cool things going to the neighborhood barber shop, you know, once a month for a haircut. And them old guys in there. And them some smart old guys in there. Barbershop talk is always good. 
Thing is, I don't know if they still have that same old barbershop talk anymore. I think that's kind of, I guess that's old school, kind of gone away with the times. I think now they all have these hairstylists. I just don't think it's the same. Anyway, I guess I got off track a bit, but so out of the movies, who gets the house? Okay movie to watch. Who the blank is Jackson Pollock? It's okay. Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married? I don't know. Ten questions for the Dalai Lama. Yeah, I'll give that one two thumbs up. So that's what I've been watching. I hope you enjoy. Have enjoyed what you've been watching. And as always, don't run out of popcorn. <laughs>